This is Kylian Mbappe, and he's the world's best footballer. However, he's lost all of his teammates. They've all gone to play for different teams and left Mbappe alone at Madrid, but there's a catch. Every time Mbappe scores a goal, he can take one player from the team that he's playing against. So in the first game, we're playing against Barcelona, and if Mbappe scores, he can take anyone from that team, including Frankie de Jong and Pedri. What a ball over the top. What a touch from Mbappe. Can he put it away? Yes, he does. Mbappe scores against Barcelona. And because he scored, that means we can take one Barcelona player. And with all the choice on this Barcelona team, my decision is going to be difficult. Pedri has joined Real Madrid. We needed a midfielder to pass to Kylian Mbappe. And there's Pedri in midfield. But I need to build the best team possible because Real Madrid are in the MLS alongside all of Europe's top clubs. And in order for Real Madrid to prove themselves as the biggest club in world football, they need to win this competition with Kylian Mbappe as their main man. Their next game is against AC Milan and this is their team. Rafael Leao, Fakayo Tamori, Mike Magnan, and Teo Hernandez. It's a really good team. Run Mbappe. Run Mbappe. Knock it through Mbappe. What a run from Mbappe. Finish it. No, what a save. I tried to chip him. Oh, that was so stupid. Who can we take from AC Milan if we do score? There's so many good players. I need to think about it. He's offside. Oh my God, he was onside. It's 1-0. No, what a ball. It's 2-0. Oh, what a save. Oh, he tackled it in. He tackled it into his own net. Great. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of all these bronze players, man. He's got to find Mbappe. And he does. Mbappe is through. Slam it near post. Has to be. And there's a goal from Mbappe and an assist from Pedri. That's exactly what we needed. And with that now, we can proceed and take one of AC Milan's players. Oh, we drew. That's pretty good. And this is the AC Milan team we scored against. We can take one of these players. Not quite sure which one. I, I, I actually honestly think I might take Pedri. Hernandez because he's the best left back in the game and in every other position there is someone else better we can take and that's important because once I pick a player for a position I can't change that player for the rest of the video I need to make really wise choices in order to make the best team possible and Teo Hernandez is that man signing Teo Hernandez leaves us here we have Pedri at left center mid we're gonna have Mbappe at left striker and Hernandez at left back just gonna play everything down the left and hope it works and our next game is against Benfica which isn't the strongest opposition but they have some of the highest potential players in the game. And the two guys that I have my eyes on are Andrea Sheldrup and Antonio Silva at centre-back. They might be the right guys to go for. But first, of course, we need to score. No! Oh my god, I'm terrible. Mbappe! Mbappe! Oh, my camera's died, but we scored! The worst timing ever, but Mbappe, what a goal! What's he doing? Oh, he's on the floor. Oh god. Let's into the end. Do we get the win against Benfica? A 2-1 loss. Cocky scores, but that's okay. Not too worried about getting wins now. I just want to build the team and then we can worry about wins. 78 overall, but with potential to go much, much higher. I think he's the guy that we have to take. And that's the difference it's made. Antonio Silva slots in at left center back. This entire right side is just completely bronze. But this entire left side, pretty damn good. And it's only going to get better. But our next game is a massive one. Next game up, we're playing against Juventus. Now, these guys have the likes of Federico Chiesa, Wojciech Szczesny, and and Duhan Vlaovic. They've got some brilliant players, so let's see if we can take one of them. No, no, no! Oh, what a finish. God's sake. Ah. Oh my god, it's 3-0. What a goal. Mate, these bronze players I'm really struggling with. Make the pay for Mbappe! There's the goal! What a goal from Kylian Mbappe! We've actually scored, and we can take one of the Juventus' players. This is the choice I have. Wojciech Szczesny is actually the best player here, but there's better goalkeepers to choose from. Might go with Vlahovic, you know, because he's good, but he has a lot of potential, so he could get better. Although, could we find someone better to put Mbappe beside? Probably. You know what? I'm going to do the smart thing here. I think I'm just going to take Szczesny for goalkeeper. And I know it's kind of boring picking a goalkeeper, but that's what we've done. But try Trust me, the next team that we're playing against is going to be a very interesting one because that team is Bayern Munich and this is their squad at the moment. Jamal Musiala, Joshua Kimmich, Harry Kane, he's there. He's just on the bench or something. And we can pick any of these players to sign up for ours. That is a great privilege. All we need is a goal with Mbappe. Or do we? See, it's not that simple anymore because now we have five gold cards and only six bronze cards. The rules have changed. We're over halfway, so we need to change it up. And the rules for this are simple. Not only does Mbappe need to score, but Real Madrid need to win in order to take a player from the opposing team. Remember, we're trying to win the Super League and demand European dominance. And we can only do that with the best team possible. Oh, square to Mbappe. It has to be! And there's a goal from Kylian. And Mbappe. It was only a matter of time. He puts it away, but that's not enough. We're going to need to hold off Bayern Munich for the rest of the game if we're going to take one of their players, and that's a whole different task. Slide. Oh, what a tackle. That's exactly why we signed him. Guerrero to Nabry. 
Good tackle. No, you cannot give a penalty for that. Nabry on the penalty. Here we go. Come on, Chesney. Ah, he sent me. Good penalty. Okay, we need a goal now. One all at halftime. Oh, come on, we need a win. Imagine Jamal Musiala at Cam at this team. Oh my God, it would be so unfair. Fernandez. Oh my God, it's a bronze player. It's Brennan. Please, Brennan. Yes! One of the bronze players scored. No way. We're 2-1 up. Mbappe. I put it away. It's 3-1 and it's over for Bayern Munich. Who are we going to take for this Real Madrid team? It's really between Kimmich and Musiala. Of course, they do have Alfonso Davies, but we already have a left back in Teo Hernandez, so we cannot take Davies. I think I'm going to take Jamal Musiala. There's a team now with Jamal Musiala. This team is really good. Now we have five bronze players left to go. Next game is Liverpool, though. This is an absolute shoe-in. I want Virgil van Dijk. It's as simple as that. Liverpool is going to be a tough opposition, though. We need to win this game to get him. With Andy Robertson, Luis Diaz, Mohamed Salah, Van Dijk and Allison in nets. This is probably the toughest team that I've played yet. Cannot take the ball off this guy. You just can't. Oh, he did. Never mind. If we get Virgil van Dijk, that will be our last centre-back complete. And Mbappe has spun him. And he's gone round Allison, And it's 1-0 to Real Madrid. That was insane. Also, now we really need to start looking at winning games because we need to win this Super League. We need to qualify for the playoffs, which means we need to finish 8th or higher. And currently, we're last in the league. Oh, Mbappe. Oh, Mbappe. Oh, what a goal. Oh, my God. Mbappe. That was insane. We win the game 4-1. Goal from Musiala as well. Liverpool have been defeated. Let's go and take Virgil van Dijk. This is the Liverpool team. Yeah, we really need a centre-back. As much as Trent is brilliant at right-back, Virgil van Dijk's the best centre-back in the game by an absolute mile. Now with van Dijk in the team, this team is starting to take shape. We only have four positions left to go, which is actually a bit of a problem. And here's why. If we're playing against the team and they don't really have a good right-back, centre-mid, CDM or striker, then we're in a bit of a problem. We need to take one of those players. If all their best players are left backs and goalkeepers, then we're screwed. But our next game's against PSG, so I don't think we'll have that problem. Or do we actually? Oh no, they have Hakimi. He's really good. Here we go. In the Parc de Prance, under the lights. Four more positions to fill until the super team is complete to try and take over the Super League. Marquinhos comes over to cover. Can we hit Musiala in the pocket? Square it to Mbappe, and it's 1 0 to Real Madrid. The best goal of the video so far. And who scores it? None other but Kylian Mbappe. Now we just need to close out this game, get the win and take one of their players. Pedri into Jamal Musiala and that's 2-0. What a finish from Musiala. On legendary difficulty, Musiala makes the difference. I really need a CDM. I'm really struggling without one. My CDM, please. Oh, he's nowhere to be found. Good save. Oh, this is dangerous. Mbappe's going to outpace Diallo here. Going to take him on the inside. Oh, what a move. Oh, what a move. Oh, what a move. He's still going. Take the extra touch. What a goal from Kylian Mbappe. He's just run the pitch. And Mbappe with a third of the game. What a run. We're at the PSG team, and this is what the best players look like. Well, Neymar is here. Marquinhos as well. But we have both of our centre-backs, so we can't take Marquinhos. I, I think it has to be Hakimi. I think it just has to be. He's also Mbappe's, like, best friend. So that's good for chemistry as well. And there we go. Achraf Hakimi is a Real Madrid player. Our entire goalkeeper and defensive system is all complete. Almost. We still need a central defensive midfielder. Plus, we need that center mid. And all importantly, we need Mbappe's strike partner. Who's that going to be? Well, our next game is against Arsenal. Remember, we need a CDM, a center mid, and a striker. I'd love to take Martinelli or Saka, but obviously we don't use wingers. We could play Odegaard at center mid, but that might be weird. Let's do a bit of thinking here to make sure I get the right guy. I think we could play Odegaard at center mid. I'm not sure, though, because there is no point stressing about who we're going to choose if we don't even win the game with a goal from Mbappe. Martinelli, no. Oh, good save. God, they're dangerous. They look really dangerous. Oh, good save, Chesney. Gonna try and square this to Mbappe. Nope. Ah, no, he tackled me. No. Mate, this Arsenal team is so good. We're getting destroyed. No, he's giving it away. That's a goal. Oh, no. No. Oh, what a calamity. Oh, Van Dijk, you've had a nightmare. Right, okay, we need to score two goals now, and one of them has to be with Mbappe. We've got a player out of every game so far. This is not going to be the first game where we don't get a player. Can we get a finesse shot here from Mbappe? What a goal from Mbappe. Ramsdale left with no chance. It's one all. What a ball to Hernandez. Hernandez. Oh, good save. That's it. That's it. The game's over. Oh, 
Mbappe, I let you down, man. He scored such a good goal as well. We didn't win the game. We cannot take one of Arsenal's players. Oh, that's so annoying. That means we're left with one bronze player for the rest of the video. We only have two more games to get players, and that means for the rest of this video, one of these guys is going to stay on the team. We're just left with a bronze player. I think the real question is, which player are we going to leave as a bronze player? And I think it can kind of be decided by which players are best, because for us, our next game is against Borussia Dortmund, and they have Jude Bellingham. Uh, I think we're going to be taking Bellingham if we have the opportunity. Time to quit the messing. We need Bellingham. Is there any hope? Is there any hope? What a finish from Mbappe. 1-0 to Real Madrid. The reason why Bellingham is playing for Dortmund, by the way, is I had to pick a team for all of Mbappe's teammates to go to. I put them all on the team that they previously played for. So Bellingham's with Dortmund. Oh, what a finish. No. Sebastian Haller. Okay, let's go. Ultra attacking. Let's go. Come on. Don't mess this up. Oh my god, he saved it. No. It's Deegan of all people. Oh, through to Musiala. This is bound to go in. It's Jamal Musiala. And you know the rest. In the 90th minute, Musiala scores the winner. Bellingham is ours. Come on. What a goal. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a finish. He's so clutch. Oh, come on. And the deal is done. Jude Bellingham is a Real Madrid player with one more game left to play. Who's he going to be playing against? And which position is he going to take? It's Deegan versus Noel for the final spot on this team. And while Noel is higher overall, I'd say Deegan has played better. And it's interesting actually, because Real Madrid's next fixture is against Inter Milan. Playing on that team includes Federico Valverde and Nico Barea for midfield, but up front is Lautaro Martinez. This is going to be interesting. But first, of course, Real Madrid have to win the game with Mbappe scoring. What a ball. Back to Jamal Musiala. That's 1-0 to Real Madrid. Into Noel. Oh, the bronze has scored. Let's go. It's 2-0. Oh, 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 okay. We put it in. Brilliant. 3-0. I was going for Mbappe, but it didn't work out. We still need Mbappe to score. And there we go. Mbappe scored. Okay, it's 4-0. Let's go to the end. What's Valverde's defending like? Oh my god, he's a beast. Oh, we, we could actually use him and just have Noel up front. He did score in the last game, so maybe. Let's try it. Let's get Valverde. This is the exact team that we're going to be dominating the European Super League with. Uh, yes, Noel will be starting up front. 12 points off Juventus in seventh place. That's a massive issue because there's only seven games left. So they basically need to win every single game for the rest of the season. Hope everyone else loses. And then, yes, that will be enough. So what I'm going to do is sim out six of these games, go to the final game against Arsenal and pray that we somehow make these playoffs. We're here at the final day of the MLS season. And guess what? The comeback has happened. We're on 44 points. Roma are on 46. We have an opportunity to sneak our way into the MLS playoffs. As far as I'm concerned, if we win this final game against Arsenal, we get into the playoffs. But we have a big, big problem. We have players on international duty, which means we have no Jamal Musiala, no Jude Bellingham, and no Antonio Silva. This is going to be difficult, but we need to play this game. We need to win. And with half a team, can we beat Arsenal? We do. Can we get through? Yes! We're into the playoffs. Oh my God. That's a massive result. What a comeback for Mbappe and his team. And not only that, but we actually qualified in sixth place, which is pretty damn good. That leaves us against Sevilla in the first round. Okay. To Bellingham. One more. Musiala. What a save. Can he finish? What a save. No. Oh my God. They've scored. I don't even know what happened there. Oh my God. Noel threw on goal. Please, Noel. Oh, he scored. The bronze striker might have just saved us. Noel with the goal and it's one all. We're back on level terms. And that's it. One all. Oh, that means we're going to penalties. Oh no. <laughs> right. Here we go. Big save from Chesney. Mbappe tucks it away. Bunu had no chance. Oh, Acuna's dinked me. That is filthy. Mbappe's best mate next up. Puts it away. 2-1 to Madrid in the round of 16 of the European Super League. Oh, Lamella with another Penenka. Two Penenkas in a row. Valverde smash it in, son. Bang! Next up, it's Rafa Mir. Oh, good pen. Come on, Bellingham. Just about past Bunu. Save this to win. It's good edge on the penalty. Oh! Oh, I guessed it right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Oh my god, it's a bronze player. It's a bronze player. It's a bronze player. It's a bronze player. And he's put it away! He's a hero! More than with the penalty. And we're through the round of 16. Mbappe's legends do it. And Mbappe is first to run over and celebrate with him. Oh my god, now is our time. Now is so our time. Come on. And we're through the round of 16. We're into the quarterfinals now against Benfica. We've already stolen Antonio Silva off them. Let's see what else we can take off them. Here comes Mbappe. Round the outside. The pace of Mbappe. He gets away. He's going to square it. And it's Noel. Another goal for the bronze striker. He's killing the game. And Real Madrid.
Madrid are winning in the quarters. Uh-oh, it looks like Mbappe's through. Great touch. Mbappe, what a save. Touch here, essential. Gets around his defender. Top corner. 2-0 to Real Madrid. We are going to the semi-finals. A 2-0 win for Real Madrid over Benfica. Into the semi-finals we go. The only question I have is who the hell are we playing against? Oh, it's Inter. Okay, this will be fun. Straight through already to the bronze striker. Can he tramp it? Yes, we can. There's a goal off the bat. And it's a bronze player. It's Brennan. He's also the captain for some reason. And he is playing because there are players away on international duty, including the likes of Jude Bellingham. I think it would be rather fitting that a goal from a bronze player would take us to the Super League final. What a ball to Teo Hernandez. Can he play it into Mbappe? Can he finish this? It's Mbappe. What a finish from Mbappe. It's 2-0 to Real Madrid. And surely that's enough to get to the Super League final. Mbappe with an incredible finish finish from a brilliant breakaway. What a goal. Here comes Mbappe. I could swing this in, but there's bronze players in the box. They're not going to score. I'm just going to run it to the corner and hold on to it. Kick it out, and that's it. Game over. 2-0 win for Real Madrid. Dominant in this Super League semi-final. We're going to the final somehow with Mbappe's constructed 11, and we'll be facing one of the best teams in Europe. The question is, what team will it be? Uh, oh, are you serious? Man City? You have got to be joking me. The good thing is we do have our full team back, but we're going to have to play against Manchester City. What I neglected to tell you is that for the final, we're going to watch it, not play it. This is effectively our Champions League final. This is as big as football games get. Out of all of the best European teams, Kylian Mbappe has assembled his squad of legends and they're about to take on Europe's best, Manchester City. It's Real Madrid versus Manchester City for the title of European champion. God, I am nervous. This whole video has led up to this. I really, really want to win. The danger man into the bronze striker, Noel. Four to Mbappe. Can he get through? It's Mbappe with a chance, and he puts it away. What a finish from Mbappe. It's 1-0 to Real Madrid, and it's the captain himself with the goal, staring down the camera and putting himself in the history books. What a finish. What a turn from Mbappe. Can he get through? Mbappe to Musiala, and it's 2-0. What a pass from Mbappe. He's got a goal and an assist in this game, and Musiala sticks it in the top corner at halftime. It's 2-0. Teo Hernandez, what a ball to Bellingham. That's 3-0, and that is game over. Bellingham with the celebration, oh, and Real Madrid Bellingham. have secured the European Super League trophy. Here come Man City, though. Erling Haaland with the shot. Oh, he's put it away. No. No, they couldn't come back. It's 3-1. Through to the bronze striker, and it's only right. He puts it away to make it 4-1. Okay, that was a bit of a scare, but it's over now. The bronze striker actually scored a goal. Noel, the man himself, and that's the end of the game. We've done it. Kylian Mbappe has constructed a team based on teams that he's beaten himself and teams he's scored against and he has won the European Super League. 4-1 in the final against Manchester City, even with a goal from a bronze player. Kylian Mbappe has constructed the best team in the world. Captain Van Dijk goes to lift the trophy, which is likely well deserved. He was immense in the final. The MVP turned captain, turned legend. Kylian Mbappe wins the European Super League. And having that said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video where I took Jude Bellingham and made him a one overall, but every goal he scored, he got plus one rating. It was a lot of fun. Check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Come on!